Wild 94.1 in the middle of that funk volume takeover. You already know what it is, man. Ready, set, radio. I got Hobson in the building. I got Dizzy right in the building. They're on yeah. tour right now. Yes, uh, they're, uh, they'll see. They did Orlando last night. Unfortunately, they did, they did not do a Tampa show, but they are here nonetheless. Yes. So they did they did come through and show some love to the city. Um, I know in hip hop, there's like tons of acquaintances. I always say there's more acquaintances than actual friendships. But both yeah. of you guys, outside of your immediate camp, who would you guys consider like actual friends in the industry? Um, friends in the industry. I got a few homies. Who, I mean, aside from the crew. Like, if you guys fell off tomorrow what? and, like, you guys weren't, like, you know, you know, if you guys became chingy tomorrow. Yeah, which yeah. Which would never happen. It, it would, um, <laughs> I, I recently, I guess, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say, I don't have too many, like, industry, I don't, I don't know too many rappers like that. So, Dizzy would know more than I do. I'm, a, I'm always in my A. So, close, closest thing, and this is still pushing it with, um, me, me and Logic have kind of, um, developed a cool because you guys personal. both don't f- with nobody. If you've seen the logic yeah, yeah, video, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, so I, I met, yeah, I, I met, I met with him. Um, yeah, I chilled at his house. You know, we um keep in touch, and um just on a personal level. So we not, it ain't really on no like. You guys, hey, you I guys haven't done music together, right? Huh? You and him haven't. No, no, no. That's what together. I'm saying. So it's just like on, it's just on on a personal. Which is dope. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. So I don't even like address him as as logic or anything. But it's just so that that would be. But even, but we still like. We don't kick it like that, but right. but we we to. do keep in touch. But that's that's really I I don't keep I don't really know any other rappers to be honest. What about you, Dizzy? Uh, Logic, <clears throat> Pro Era. Shout out to Joey was in town last night. Oh, where? Yeah, yeah. How was that? It was sold out. It was good. Yeah, it was it was very very good. Yo, yeah. Oh, and Tech Nine, I'm tripping. Tech uh, Nine is the homie, Tech homie, nine homie. Is the super Tech Nine homie. is the homie, homie. Yeah. Tech he nine yeah is the super duper homie. Yeah, how much did you learn from Tech, like, like early on? Because I, I, that was the first time I ever heard you. From, yeah, was I, uh, am I a psycho? That was the first time I ever even heard of you, dog. Like, yeah, yeah. So, like, Man. I know, I know that that song in particular put you in front of a whole bunch of new people. Yeah. What did you learn from from being around Tech? And um, well, the, the main thing I learned was to be humble, because this dude, because because when you first come into the game, the perception of a rapper is like. You think you got it. You think when you get there, you got a floss that you there like I'm here right now right. and I'm this and you better respect it and this. I mean, people should still respect it, but at the same time, you still human. So when I first met him, he was just so humble. I was like, "This is Tech Nine walking in." Actually, this is Jaren Ben walking in right now. Oh my now. God! Look who decided oh. to show oh. up, <laughs> Mr. Layman. Oh, yeah, I'm black. I got excuse. Yeah, Jaren Benton. Did you have an all night bender last night in Miami? Oh man, did I? He's a lion, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. Oh man, Jaron Benton just decides to, to, to walk in. What, what, what's, why are you late, Jaron Benton? Well, first of all, let's start with my skin tone. I'm black. Okay. Um, I'd like to point out DNA. that your 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 your, your, <laughs> your friends here and label mates are also African American. And, yeah, not nah, Hobson. We're, we're, we're he's early. not really black. <laughs> to be honest, bro, he's right. I'm not. <laughs> and Dizzy, he's uh, only reason he made it is because uh, I don't know. <laughs> You got nothing. Cause I of got Brooklyn. nothing. Because of Brooklyn. Because of Brooklyn. He has. <laughs> he he's on the bus with white people, so they got him up in time. <laughs> but so are you. You're on the bus with Flick. Flick's not white. <laughs> he he's not. He's clear. How you doing, kid, man? I'm good, man. Uh, well, what's up, dude? How's tour life? Uh, man, we we already talked about uh how you jack off a lot on the bus. Nah, you know I don't jack. I'm off just kidding. I'm just kidding. On the bus. At uh, all. I got it. When I jack off, I got to be in privacy. Like I can't even. Nobody can be around. You like, still have a, the browser's password I gave you some time. I never. Oh man, I need to use it. Well, you guys, you had a browser browser's password. I still got it. I got I got a <laughs> lifetime password. You really do? Oh yeah, I got y'all. Oh please give that to me, yeah. I, man. That, that, <laughs> that, that <laughs> there's nothing like watching HD porn. I can't. No, and I yo, don't, everyone, I know. yo, everyone always is like, why do I need it? I'm like, fam, because oh, it's it's, it's, a it's, diff- it's in 4K, my G. Yes, that's <laughs> and then and what's crazy when you see it, you like, oh, it's like I'm there. It, it really yeah, is. Man, HD porn is the best. I got a new. I got a porn. She's not a new porn star. Who's be, your new porn star? Bella Donna. Oh man, Bella she's Donna, she's retired. Be- now. I know, but I, did you I'm see just, her take the Louisville Slugger up? The- no, oh, really. She had took a whole baseball bat, right? And I seen her when she was pregnant, like having sex with this chick, Bruh. And man, Belladonna the is the grossest thing. of all that's time. Tight. I swear to God, man, that's, that's, oh my God! And I would pay to <laughs> swear and to God. Also, what can I curse? No, oh. she, yeah, yeah so I, I'm gonna edit it. But also, she, also Kelly Wells is very nasty. Do you know who that is? I've heard of her. She's very nasty as well. I would pay. Hey, 
Okay. Vine's a nasty. Yo. AV the Vine. Oh, and uh, <laughs> who else is a little nasty? I want is uh, Jan- Jody Jan- Taylor. Jody Taylor is yeah. pretty serious. Skin dot. Y'all with skin dot? Uh, yeah, of I mean, course. Come on. Gianna Michaels, is that her name? Gianna Michaels. I already, already, we Gianna already told Michaels. you. Gianna Michaels, yeah. come on. <clears throat> yeah, That's the yeah, one. Not, yeah. Who's who's your favorite all time uh, porn star? Dizzy, you're over there. You got nothing to say about the nah, porn. Nah, yeah, I don't got one. Man. He, 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 oh, man. Don't got one. he too cool for this conversation, but nah, he too nah, cool. Hey, nigga, I watch a little porn every <laughs> now and then. <laughs> nigga, oh. yeah. nigga, I watch a little porn too. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I don't, I don't know. He's that. like, I don't, I don't know their names. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I always want yeah. the. Invested. I always want the yeah. HD porn subscription, but I don't want my accountants going on seeing all my, my the, what I've done. I'm like, man, I want to do it so bad, but they're gonna see all this stuff. So I just stay away from it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I search. I got HD. y'all. I got y'all. I got yeah, like I mean, password's yeah, been good for like man. eight years. Okay, oh. I, I don't pay for it. Oh, Sometimes it'll like get banned because it's from it's from them. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, who, they gave that personal yeah. password to you. Yeah, that's and, tight. But that's it'll get it'll only be banned for like two days and it'll be good. That's Damn. tight. Brazzers. You know any porn stars? Uh yeah, there's a few out here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Who you know? Uh, Gianna Nicole, who's the new chick that uh, Riff Raff was banging out. Which I'm not sure if anybody wants to go near her after after Riff Raff. Oh, had I had to see her. Uh yeah, she's bad. There's some bad b- out here in Tampa that are porn stars. Yeah. We might have to hang out. Tampa, we in here. Come on, man. We here, you know, Tampa. Might, might, yeah. Got a day off. We might have to congre- congregate. You know, day <laughs> off. You know. Uh, so, but no, we were talking. Uh, I mean, obviously, you missed the whole interview for the most part because you're you're black. Uh, but but what's going on with you, Jaron? Man, I'm chilling, man. I'm enjoying Slow Motion life. EP Volume Slow One motion. was dope. The album's coming out. Uh, Static Select, um, and I will put that song on the next project. You heard it first here. So Static Select has got a song on the project. He got a song on the project. What uh, else is going on? I know you sent me on? some some early stuff that you were trying to get. Yeah, I was, guys I was working on. on that project with the homies. Uh, um, Dirty York, Dirty York Club, man. Um, that's almost done. And uh, I'm just working on music, man. I'm just going to start throwing out music in between working on this new album. So the album is like what percent of finished? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I would say 30%. 30%? 30%. Yeah, 30% done. Kato, obviously. No. No Kato? No, it's maybe two. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning away from Kato on this one. Is that like a personal thing, like Kato? Yeah. I'm nah, 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 nah. It's never personal. I'm just, playing. I'm just trying to go with a different sound. No, I hear you. What is so. the sound? I mean, I feel like you have like a good... Uh, you know, I'm trying to go with Yeezus mixed with Crystal Castle mixed with Trap. All right. Well, I don't that know. I don't even know what. I don't even know how to take that. I don't either. But eh. that sounds ridiculous. Don't it does sound kind of ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> is there, the has there ever been a talk of you guys doing like an official like funk volume compilation? Like, I feel like you that know, be dope. Tech always does like the strangulation joint. I think Wait. that'd be super dope. Yeah, we worked. We actually worked on some music together, man, and it was going to happen. And well, Hobson, well, how do you? I mean, how, is that I still got those songs in my house? We just got it. Dame shut us down. He's listening to him. He's like, I ain't know if that, it, it, that really sounded good to me. <laughs> so that's what happened. We there was a few dope ones that could be revived, it. but um, yeah, but it could happen though. It could happen. Yeah. I, I mean that. I wouldn't say that's necessarily the main focus when we get back home, but they're there if we feel like doing it. We can always just. Hop, I know that uh, you are an, a, a, a critique of some garbage hip hop. What is some good hip hop that's out right now that you are liking or feeling, if any? I like J. Cole. I like Kendrick. I like Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf album was really good. Love Story was dope. I like Big Butts and I Cannot Lie. Okay. <laughs> Touche. Stupid joke. What, um, what else do I like? <laughs> <laughs> See that joke kicks in. It takes like five seconds. But um, <laughs> what else? I, yeah, I, I, anybody, anybody. I, I, I do. I like Drake. Drake is. Dope. What are your thoughts on the on the Drake Meek Mill situation? Um, I don't really know. I mean, I don't. I don't think both the songs. They're they're cool. It's like there's two worlds. There's the there's judging it from the like general hip hop. Yeah, like the, the commercial world and judge right. So as as me being like the backpack rapper that's in me, I did both both. Yeah, charged this, up to me was so garbage. Yeah, yeah like it, it it was it wasn't dope. It but just I can was whatever. Real? I can understand. I didn't like charged up. I, no, it was it was cool. Like it was cool. But if it was the underground and he made that diss to like an underground artist, see this is the way would, I feel it about it. Have, is it there hasn't been any uh, beef records? From an artist of that stature in like a long year. No, I know. So people are hype. No, so people so, like literally. It could have been anything, and they would have been like Joe Drake. Yeah, but yeah. It, but if if it was like, 
I, I, but if it was, yeah, the, the way he did it, it was, it was in a very commercialized way where it's like, it's almost like he did it specifically so people can chant the lyrics and know every word to it because he it said worked it. worked out for him. Yeah, def, it definitely did and worked in his favor. So, I mean, I can, I can understand he, pl- he played the game very well on that, knowing that he could accomplish it and beat him in that way. But, um, do you think your fans hearing you just say that you're a fan of Drake, are you going to get like hate on Twitter? I feel like you're going to. No, no, because I've, I've, I've admitted to it. Like, I, I can acknowledge when somebody's dope. So, he's not, he doesn't rap like me, but I can't hate on him because he doesn't rap like right. me and have the aggressive anger, hip-hop, sinister, dark style. Like, he he has a whole different style, but I'm very aware that he makes good songs. Like, you can't I, you can't deny that. It doesn't matter if you're a super dark MC, backpack rapper, or commercial rapper. He makes good songs. And I can tell even from his lyrics, from the way he uses words and all that, that he he did have the MC stage, like, the, the that, like, I guess you could say how I feel like every rapper grows up listening to, like, a super lyrical yeah, cannabis he was listening, Wu-Tang he was or one of those type of that, rappers. Yeah. Like you, you can tell it's there, and then he chose to take the route that he's taken with the way that he raps, and which is which is respectable. I didn't like him at first, but I've become more open minded, and you know I'm, I'm aware that you know music changes, and and sometimes you just gotta ac- accept it. But I don't, I I do think he can rap though. I don't think he's like whack. Jaren, we usually have the same opinion on uh, mm-hmm. hip hop. First of all, rest in peace, Sean Price. <laughs> oh, I know you man. and I are both big R. Sean Price fans. Sean P, dude. Oh. Uh, Muffin though right now, man. Sean P. The, I swear to God, I, I ordered his uh I ordered from the Duck Down site, man. And I've been listening, I've been jamming that shit for a minute. But um, let me see. I'm still bumping action, man. Um who else I'm bumping? I I bump Drake too. I'm a, I'm a Run Drake. the Jewels is hard. I mean, I'm obviously. Killer Run Mike. the Jewel. If people go back to my Twitter feed when Run the Jewels first came out, they'll see. I've been listening to Killer in, Mike since like Ple- Pledge of to the Grind, man. Come on, like, man. You go back. You'll see. I was the first rapper that jumped on Run the Jewels and saluted them and gave them the accolades that they deserve. That was me. I'm just consistent with the uh, Run the Jewels. Who else I'm bumping right now, man? Probably uh, still a lot of rock, man. You know, I'm still RK Fire, dude. That stays in my playlist. Radiohead stay in my playlist. Um, who else, man? I'm bumping uh, Hobson and Did too. Actually, yeah. it sucks. Rightfully but. so. It'd be kind of it'd be, be kind of <laughs> up if you weren't. Yeah. So no. Anyway, yo, uh, we're going to come back and wrap it up with these guys. I'm going to let... Uh, Hold up, Kev. Yo. I'm just intrigued. What would happen if I hit the cough button? The mic would, would turn off. Oh, okay. Just hit cough, and then you cough, and then you let go, and then it's back on. Oh, that's oh, what it oh. is. Oh, so I didn't know that. Okay, you, I was you're not, See? <laughs> yeah, because you're not supposed to cough. You know, it's like bad radio to cough on the radio. Oh, that was man, crazy. I'm, I'm in coughing. Yeah, you're good. It doesn't... I mean, it, you guys don't... I mean, if, it's, if, if I'm on here and I cough... Yeah, it's different. With that being said, I probably wouldn't. I've never hit a cough button in my life. Yeah, okay. uh, what you doing, man? You like you losing weight, bro? You been eating uh, I'm good. Just doing meth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. You know, just uh, just just lots of meth, man. That's that's. But yo, uh, enough about my personal life. All right. I'm gonna let you introduce something from the EP, and then uh, we'll we'll have these guys back on, and we'll wrap it up. Uh, okay. Funk Volume Takeover. Jaron Benton just got here. Got um, an EP that's on iTunes that you could go support. Slow Motion EP. What do you want to play off it, man? Uh, let me see what I want to play, man. Play, uh, ooh, play a tick of phobia just because, no, don't play a tick of phobia. Come on, man. Play Make up your W-H-W. mind. What is this? W-H-W. 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 Let's do it. Play that. It's Let's the do Funk that. Volume Takeover we right here on Wild 94.1. It's Ready, Set, Radio, man. That Funk Volume Takeover, live in studio, the whole label. Uh, minus Hopper and Swizz. Is H- Hopper's on tour with y'all right now, though, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah, shout out to Hopper. Got a real dope project, too. We got to give yeah. him some love. Uh, it's Hopper and Friends is the name Hop- of that, right? Hopper and Friends. And him and Demrick got a project uh, Stony called Stony Point. Point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So shout, out, two projects, shout out to Hopper, real dope producer. Uh, but, yo, man, we got Hobson, Dizzy Wright, and Jaron Benton in studio. Uh, what is the rest of – well, I should say, what is 2016 looking like for the label? Because it's already, you know, it's already the end. I mean – Great. It's going to be – Amazing 2016 yeah. for the crew. Are yeah. we gonna get a Hobson album in 2016? No, but no. you will. No, you will get. You will get a bundle of Hobson songs. But I'm not. I'm not really interested in doing albums no more. Only because the the specific situation that I'm in, I just feel like my albums get slept on, and it's it's almost like my my I'm bigger when I release individual songs, and so I'd ra- I'd rather just drop like five or six songs a year, but make those songs big and be able to tour because. And, and just and just strategically plan those songs to where they can help my help my growth. Would you do a, a, a in mind? I know you, I know which record was it that was on the the album that had started off as the new Illmind? 
You said what? Um, Didn't you do some? There was a there was a song we talked on the phone. You said that when you were first writing it, it was supposed to be the next Ill Mind of Hobson, but it ended up just turning into a record on the album. Oh, um, oh, th- that that was gonna be like the fly song. Fly, but, that's right. But, yeah. but I didn't, yeah, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. I'm a, but I are think, you gonna do I, another Ill Mind? Um, I, I might. It's just if I, I've been thinking about it, but I'm, just, I just, it's, I just have to think of what I want it to be about because I don't want to do it and it not be powerful, you know. So the Ill Minds are supposed to be something extreme, like really, really. So if I'm talking about God, I'm really gonna talk about God. If I'm talking about society, I'm gonna go in in detail. Sometimes I just don't have anything to talk about that's that. Serious. serious so yeah. I don't, and I don't want to be like reaching for something that's just like talk about the birds or some some crazy right, thing right, right. that our kids starving. I mean, I mean, I could. Or that, Tyler that. the Creator, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I I just have to I have to think of what I want to talk about and then just become comfortable with it and then just start writing. But I haven't. I, I might have an idea. I've been kind of thinking of something, but we'll see. That's what's up, uh, Dizzy. You you got tons of stuff you're sitting on. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, so will we get an album from you in the in the new year? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. But we will get music. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they gonna get music always from get me. Always get music from yeah. Dizzy. Always, always. Yeah. I'm just gonna work on the best and then drop the best when uh, you know, just make it strategic. How's father life, man? You got two I little it, ones bro. now. I, I'm ready to get back home, bro. Yeah, you, I mean, you're new. You're new to the father life. I know Jaron's been a dad for a while. I've been a, I'm an old dad. <laughs> I've been a dad Jaren's for a, a minute. Jaron's a lot. Old. We won't say how My old Jaron is. Older than yeah. me. <laughs> Cause I think people, I think people think Jaron's like like 26 or something. No, nah, I'm not 26. Well, I got a birthday coming up tomorrow man, too. Your birthday's day. tomorrow. It's tomorrow, man. Well, happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, Thank maybe you, if you're in I'm town, not 40 yet though. You're not 40. I'm yet. I'm, I'm ways you, away from 40. You're away. What do you? How old are you? Just tell everybody. Tell everybody how old I'm. Yeah. 34 years old. 34. Yeah. yeah. You know. There you go. Yo, you right. know what's great? I never feel I never feel like a shame of like that. I don't know you why rappers be, man. do that. Like they feel like. I'm proud of my age. Like two chains is really old. Two chains is old <laughs> as a mother. They're Tech Nine, very old. Yeah, they some old dudes. <laughs> That's yeah. why they don't like saying their age because he put the emphasis on the very. <laughs> really, <laughs> I love Tech. Yeah. I love Tech. Why can't he just be Tech Nine? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a legend. Yeah, he's, he's really a, I mean, old. Yo, he's they gonna be saying that uh, about yeah. us yeah. one day. Like Hobson, he's really oh, old. Yeah, yeah you gotta I'll be, be like, why you gotta say really, man? You could just say I'm older. Oh, man. You got to get no, it. But, and uh, we'll get a Jaren album for sure next year, right? Oh, man, you go get a guy Jaren album. You'll get some Jaren music. I'm just finna. I'm just. I Who feel, are you going to be free basing with next? Is the you question. know what's crazy, bro? I've been thinking about putting out another. I'm just not in that space. I'm going to do it because when I'm in. I, that's just pure ignorance. For the you free are, basing you are very series, ignorant. It was just completely. Thank you. They're complete ignorant. I'm still ignorant, but I don't feel like displaying my ignorance right now. Yeah. I feel like I should give them some Did people you know, ever think intellect. that you actually smoked crack? Yes, like, all the time. Really? I had people come up to the show wanting Trying to smoke. Trying to give you crack? Yeah, not they. I never try to get crack, but they want to smoke with me, do meth with me. It's I always was gonna some ask, crazy. I know. I, I mean, there, there's got to be. You guys share. I mean, you, you guys have some crazy fans, and you guys do share some fans with, like, ICP and, like. Yeah. Yeah. How many times do you guys get offered like meth or some like ridiculous drugs? Like, I get offered that type of or something like. And yeah, they they don't offer it to me. I mean, people offer me to smoke, but I don't smoke. But nobody has ever offered anything crazier than that. I had a dude, man. This mother pissed me off too. They hit a skit. So don't get me wrong. I think I'm a little off in my own sense, but I'm not psychotic off. Right. Like I don't think about killing people, and I don't think about crazy like that. You know. But um, this dude sent me DME these photos. Of like this dude, it was a dead human being with like his dick cut off, shoved in his <laughs> mouth, and he, I'm like, what? What? Why the fuck would you do that? Yo, Jaron. Yeah. Your DMs are on a like. Yeah, I don't yeah. see yeah. it. Yeah. Like, who the f- he, is, he gets dead people in his DMs. I get naked girls. I get DMs, naked girls. So. Yeah. You don't get it wrong now. He gets dead naked girls. Twisted. Nah, you get dead naked. <laughs> 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 he's on. The, he's on that <laughs> zombie. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm like that. Made me reevaluate myself. Like, damn, I'm, do I give off that energy to where you would see me and say, hey, "Look at these photos of this." Of this well, remind me that I were like, <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. Well, Jaron, it was nice. It was nice seeing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The the funk volume takeover in full effect. Um, and uh, look, I'm gonna let y'all uh, close it out. Uh, any any last words uh, before you guys get out of here? I'm about to cough. Follow him on on all, all your social medias. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. Uh, At Dizzy, right? Dizzy Hippie, right? Dizzy on, Hippie on, on Instagram. Instagram. Oh, Hobson Son on Instagram, H O P S I N S O N, and Hobson on Twitter, just H O P S I N. 
And for me, it's Jaron Benton on everything. That's my first and last Don't name. Don't send him. Don't send me no pictures of anybody dead. I want to <laughs> see nothing <laughs> up. Really, just send me women. Just send me naked pictures. That's all I should have in my DM. Naked fat, pictures. Fat women. So you can say, hey, if you're fat, you can send me a couple pictures as long as that thing clean and you look amputee, good. Amputee. Okay. BBW amputee. Yeah, you can send me that. That's that's the genre. If you go on his laptop, it's all BBW amputee, <laughs> amputee. genre erotic cinema. I would take those versus a dude with his shoved in his of mouth. Course day, so, <laughs> of course you would. Of course you would. Anyway, man, it's a wrap. The Funk Volume Takeover coming to an end. It's Wild 94.1. Wild 94.1. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Poulet Cap Show, and I'm here with Dizzy Wright. <laughs>